It's nice to see you again. It's time for a story. Today's story is about a bear. Do you have a bear? Is he as cute as my bear? I don't think so. My bear is the cutest. If you get time, show me how cute your bears are. He won't beat mine. Back to the story. Stories ev the everywhere bear. With her blue pointy shoes and her hair in a bun, Mrs McAllister teaches class one. That's Ollie and Holly, Josie and Jay, Leo and Theo and April and May, Billy and Lily and little Lee Woo, Daisy and Maisie and Matt, who's new? Hannah Hasler, Callum and Claire, Kevin and Bev and the Everywhere Bear. The Everywhere Bear has a home on the shelf. But he doesn't spend time very much by himself. For each boy and girl in the class is a friend. And he goes home with them every weekend. Mondays they carry him back all the way to class one. And tell all the others the things that he's done. He has bus rides with April and horse rides with May. He eats burgers with Billy and jelly with Jay. With Lee Wu, he's a pirate. With Kevin, the king. And Callum and Claire push him high on a swing. He bounces with Bev and does handstands with Holly. He likes playing football. With Maisie and Ollie. He always makes dens when he goes with Daisy. At Lily's, they let him be lovely and lazy. With Leo and Theo, he tinkles a tune. With Hannah Hazela, he goes to the moon. With Josie, he whizzes about in a chair. No wonder they call him the Everywhere Bear. On one rainy Monday, the new boy called Matt was splashing to school when he spotted a cat. And when he bent over to give it a cuddle, the everywhere bear tumbled in a puddle. Just round the corner, a driver called Pete sat in the van painting stripes on the street. Matt got to school and sat down on his chair. He opened his bag and the bear wasn't there. Nobody knew that that poor little fellow just like the street had been painted bright yellow. Nobody saw when a river of rain washed him and whooshed him head first down the drain. And no one was there when the bear with the stripe, dirty and dizzy, splashed out of the pipe. The water was wild and the weather was wet when Jim, Jeff and Jonathan hauled in their net. Waves rocked the boat and the storm filled the air. None of them noticed the everywhere bear. Back in the harbour, Mohammed Hussein lifted the fish off the boat with his crane. Give me two boxes, said old Mrs Bishop, and she cheerfully wheeled them away to her fish shop. She started unpacking and muttered, that's odd. There's a bear wrapped in seaweed between these two cod. Out of the fish shop and onto a skip. Into a lorry and off to the tip. Aha, squawked a seagull called Solomon Shriek. I smell fish and he picked up the bear in his beak. They flew over treetops and over the town. And the bear saw his school when he dared to look down. Then Solomon perched on the roof of a shop. This isn't fish. And he let the bear drop. Then a very kind lady called Bethany Burke picked up the bear 
on her way into work. Each Friday morning, Class 1 pays a visit to one of their favourite places. Where is it? The library. Jay finds a book about stars. Josie finds one about buses and cars. Billy likes aliens and Lily likes lizards. Hannah Hazela is keener on wizards. Finally, everyone's chosen a book. They queue at the counter, then Matt cries out, Look! April and May and the others say, Where? Behind you! He's there! It's the everywhere bear. Then they carry him happily home to class one, saying, Where have you been, bear? And what have you done? The bear never talks, but he smiles to himself and thinks and he settles back down on his shelf. I've been in a puddle. I've been on down a drain. I've been in a boat and I've been in a crane. I've been in a shop and I've been on a skip. I've been on a lorry. I've been on a tip. I've been in a beak and I've been in the air. No wonder they call me the everywhere bear. That's our story today. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, if you've got bears to show us, show us your bears. Bye. Bye.